This is as deep as it gets right here. It's a fisherman's dream come true. Too many fish to count in an area too small to drop a line. This puddle's only eight inches deep, barely. And there's gotta be a hundred fish in there probably. This isn't for any fisherman. It's a great opportunity for us to get some research fish we've been looking for. These guys are biologists studying alligator gar. They're the decision makers on how much you can fish. We're developing methods that we can age these fish in the wild. Texas Parks and Wildlife biologists will study these fish to see how they grow. It takes a burden off the local pond. They're the only ones left alive in there. Nothing much can survive around these top tier food predators. Most of the food that they had, they've eaten already. These waters are overpopulated. Yep. There's some carcasses in here. There's a couple bears. Well, there's one right here. So, I mean, it was just inevitable. It's just kind of a natural deal. They get accumulated in these low areas. And... The state researchers will take hundreds north. The results will help regulate how often you can catch them. They're not endangered, but we there are species that we're concerned about in certain areas. Fishing is limited to one gar per person per day right now. The fisheries are really growing in popularity, so there's a lot more people pursuing them and harvesting them, and so we just want to make sure that we don't over harvest them. No changes are expected to be made to how you fish anytime soon.